Hey, I'm KIC, and if I can borrow from Mary Berry, this episode is going to be cram jam full of good stuff, because that's a tungsten club right there. And yeah, that sound you're hearing is definitely the sound of a completed quest. Oh my goodness, we have so many things we're going to do today, and it starts off with this handlebars. That's right, I might have realized I can do more things than I thought I could. Oh, what are we going to do? Maybe put a big engine in there, find some auger parts, and an HD auger blade that maybe I completed right before we started. And then, you know what? Here, let's uh, let's disassemble this chainsaw. Remember we started this one? Yeah, you might notice the numbers are a little different. That's because I realized after I made all new parts for everything again that, oh yeah, I really should upgrade my mechanic skill. So now, if I show you... Well, I had to upgrade that one too. We're at a mechanic skill of five, whereas before we were at three, which means that when I'm whipping out these new parts from the Forgy Majigger, yeah, they're coming out at 250, not 150. It's a pretty big increase in performance. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. So look at this. Look at this crap right now. This is awesome. Holy cow. I just pulled together a bunch of parts. Use some Kevlar we have lying around. Remember all that forged tungsten we bought at the trader? That's right. Look at this. We turned it into an HD auger and an HD chainsaw. Hold on. I want to compare something now because I'm kind of blown away and and haven't... This, this hasn't even set in yet. Holy cow. Okay. So the HD auger. Wow. Look at that. I think that's a good number. I don't know. 142.34 block damage comparing to our standard auger... <laughs> 62.43. Oh my gosh. That is a 100 plus percent increase. Oh, that is ridiculous. Let me put you in there and I'll, I'll take the switches and relays. Switch and relay. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Let's, let's go back. Let's take a, a step back here. Where is the Tungsten Club Master quest? There we go. So kill any zombie. Well, cool. Why don't we go do that? Oh my goodness. We're going to go play with all sorts of stuff today. This, this is going to be... Uh, I, I don't want to say epic, because that's not what this is going to be. I have a feeling this is going to be good, though. I, I think that might be a fair statement. I guess since we're over here, let's, let's run into this building. I would say there's a pretty good chance of finding a zombie in here, like you. Hi. Um... You're missing an arm, and you're missing the rest of your life, ma'am. Ooh, look at you. You even had good stuff. Look at that. Quest complete. Challenge completed. Tungsten Club Master. Craft a Tungsten Club. Quest chain completed. I like the sound of that. Cool. Let's get out of here. I I feel like we've done good work today. In fact, hold on. Let, let, let's see. Nope. Wrong button. Wrong button. Yep. That got us one extra skill point. Mm hmm. One whole skill point. Don't spend it all in one place, kiddo. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. Let's head over into uh, this kind of foresty area. I guess I don't know. I'm. I'm uh, I got to make sure I don't drive over a giant hole in the ground. That would probably be for the best. This actually, this looks like this will be fine. Okay, so here's my idea. We're gonna see how good this stuff works. When I say this stuff. I mean, uh, let's see, we have the HD auger down there. Let's go ahead and put the HD chainsaw. Let's start with that. I don't really have a frame of reference for how much damage the chainsaw is doing. I mean, we can look at it, and it said it was like 40-something, 30-something. I think the thing is that it goes insanely fast. So 30 damage might not sound like a lot, but when you consider that you're firing it off every multiple times a second, I'm guessing that's a lot of damage. I just noticed something, too. Oh, I, would, I was hoping that would be the case. Look at that. Look at the capacity on that. 400. Not that crappy 200. <laughs> oh, no. That... Oh. Oh, no. This is insane. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I can't even... I just... Oh, my gosh. What is happening? Cat, can you believe it? Look at this. The trees, they're just falling left and right. This is horrible. Holy crap. Wow, this is insane. 
Oh my goodness, this is just not right. And yet it's, oh, so right. Wow. Oh, hold on. I'm hunted. I'm hunted. I'm hunted. By whom? You see me. Oh. Oh, Crawler Joe, you just found out that this is a killer chainsaw. <laughs> oh, that is just unreal. Wow. I mean, that was literally like not even a minute of running around. And that's almost 4,000 wood. I mean, that's a crap ton of, of seeds at this point. Let's just start repopulating the forest. Oh my goodness. That was just ridiculous. I don't know that I've ever seen it quite like that before. I've, I've used the chainsaw before. I've made many a chainsaw, found many a chainsaw, have had some really nice, you know, 600 or darn near chainsaws. Oh man. That was just, oh, that was good. That was good. You know, the word that comes to mind, that was satisfactory. Like that was satisfying. Uh, can, we, can we start on this guy? Let's see. Let's see what the auger's like. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? No way. <laughs> this is... Oh my goodness, this is just bonkers. Look at this, it is just destroying the crap out of this big old stone. I mean, this is, this is beyond like calling it a stone. This is like a big monument of stone. And this thing is just falling apart. This is, oh my goodness. This thing is nuts. I wish I would have done this sooner, but it's okay, it's not a big deal. We have it now, and we can enjoy the crap out of this. Oh my gosh, look at this. This thing is almost already at ground level. Like, this has taken no time. Again, this is what, like, not even a minute, I'm willing to bet. And it technically is below ground level, because I got a little diggy. Wow, that is just unreal. That is crazy. Holy crap, my arm is cold now, cat. Thank you for moving. Now I'm gonna freeze to death, wow. So that was worth 3,500 small stone to take that thing down. Oh man, I have never, I have never done that before. That was, that was something else. I've never actually sat there and completely torn one of those things down in one go. And now I can say I have. Not that that's particularly, uh, I don't know, exciting, etc. But, dang. Holy crap. That's just, that is some, some craziness right there. Wow. Oh my goodness. That was, uh, whew, that was exciting. Man, again, uh, the, the only word that kind of comes to mind right now is satisfaction. That was... Ooh, man, that was really good stuff right there. That was, that was excellent. I enjoyed the heck out of that. We have a bunch of stone in this guy, so let's just go ahead and give it a crap ton of fuel. There you go. We'll take all that cement, whatever we have right now. And I'm going to store the cement and the output because we don't really need it at the moment. And let's just go ahead and make 898 crushed sand. We're just going to kind of put everything towards sand for the moment. And we'll say that's okay. We have to do some rewiring today. Man. Ooh. All right. Try and try to push aside your excitement about the power tools. Because, wow. That is exciting. I, I am not joking. That is, that is some good stuff right there. Chainsaw, we'll be coming back to you. You don't, don't you worry. We'll be coming back to you. And in fact, I need to take the wire tool. Wow, let's drop off. Uh, I guess I should have dropped off that into something else. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, dirt? Do we have dirt in there? Sure, we have dirt. Electrical stuff. This guy's going to get the forged tungsten and iron. And I just saw the duct tape. Okay, good enough. I feel like that's pretty good. Let's go. Ooh, boy. 
Let us go do some stuff. So I feel like I'm going to need to rewire some of this. And if I recall, I'm, I'm going on memory here. I haven't gone back to watch the video because, yeah, this is actually a different day from when I was recording. No joke. Uh, I said I want to kind of move the relays around a little bit. I think before I do anything else, I'm going to have to break this relay down. But we'll we'll wait a moment just to be certain on that. Let's drink some water so, so we don't, you know, pass out from dehydration. I think what we're going to do is... Oh, I didn't grab any... Well, I think four relays probably going to be fine. Four, I think, will be fine. We're going to pop a relay right here on the side of the house. And then I would like to add another relay somewhere over here on the side of the house. Somewhere. Here, let's pop a couple of frames down so we can see up here. Didn't really need that many, but that's fine. So I'm thinking if we go relay from there to here, because that is the only flat surface we can use, then we can go ahead and take the relay down from right there. I guess we can just bring the relay down to here. I kind of like the idea of, you know what? We have this insane auger. Let's do this. I want to do something really kind of dumb. Perfect. Liking it already. We're going to pop this relay right here in the ground. And then we're going to need to run one more relay out to right here, I think. We don't want to put that guy right here, I think is good. And it's not even a relay that we're going to want. It's going to be... There we go. Perfect. That That's actually just, just what I wanted right there. So I need to grab one more thing here. And before we get too far into this, if you already kind of know where I'm going, well, cool. And yeah, you're you're probably right. This is not going to be the sturdiest option, but for right now, it'll be fine. The way the zombies go, it's not going to be a big deal. Sneeze! So, before we get crazy on any of this stuff, let's grab... Let's see, what do we want to do? Let's grab... Let's put the wire tool down there. I'm going to need this guy as well. And I'm also going to need the wrench. I don't think we need the auger anymore. So let's go ahead and disconnect this relay. Uh, I, I thought maybe we could leave it, but I'm thinking about it now. The way switches work, that's not going to work, so to speak. So that has to go away. So right now, the electric fence is not connected to anything. Now, mind you... The electric fence is technically all connected to itself, and it should end somewhere over here-ish, if I'm not mistaken. It, Oh no, it, yeah, right here. This is technically where it ends. So from this point all the way around, it's connected to right here. So we're going to have to rewire things a little bit. And that's probably going to mean an additional fence post, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go grab some additional fence posts just to make sure. I'm thinking about this now and realizing, nope, I needed to grab fence posts. And this is this is all because I didn't do this correctly from the outset. And for where I want to put the switch, it's going to kind of necessitate some of these changes. So it's okay. It's not a big deal. We're going to take that switch, though. Where are you? And we're going to do this sort of thing. We're going to pop this frame right here in the ground. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade that. Except I don't have any concrete. Are you kidding me? I didn't grab the concrete. I grabbed the the frames, but not the concrete. Dang. What is wrong with me here? Let me grab those cobblestone rocks, because those shouldn't even be in there. We'll grab these. Maybe we'll do some cobblestone upgrades or something. I don't know. We could probably stand to do so, really. There you go. Have that, buddy. So, upgrade this guy. We're going to pop the switch right on it. So the switch right now is not connected to anything. It's not even... Well, it's not connected to anything. It's just... It, there, there it sits. So we're going to need an additional fence post to make this work correctly. Because I didn't even check to make sure that we can reach all of this stuff. I guess I should have done that. Here, let's pop... We're going to have to put a couple frames down. So we'll do something like so. I think that'll let me reach. So let's connect first off. We're going to go generator to our new relay, number one. 
new relay number one over to new relay number two. There's a uh, zombie crawling around down there. We're going to go to new relay number three. Ma'am, can I help you? Are you the first of, of many coming in? Does not appear so. So we got connected to the relay. If I can get back to what... Oh! Are you... <laughs> Oh, man. She even fell in there. That is... Oh, that is so inconvenient, because now I can't actually see my, my relay. I can't... Oh, I had it. I had it. I hope you didn't damage the relay. Okay, I think the relay's fine. Oh, man. This episode is just off the rails. It is just off the rails. Okay, so look at that. Basically, you know what? Sure, let's just do it that way. It's fine. We'll put concrete right there. It's cool. So we've got it connected, got everything connected back to the generator. Let's let's verify that everything works here uh, once we rewire it. Because right now, again, nothing's connected. The switch is connected, but it's not connected to anything else. So the switch is going to have to have... Where are we going to put another... We need another fence post. How are we how am I gonna do this? Okay, so I need to go. I gotta I gotta just connect this to something, I think. And then I'll see what it does. Cause that's going to determine where I go with this. Okay, so I'm gonna want another fence post. Right here, I think. Actually, no, I don't like that. I don't like that location. Kind of tempted to just go right there, but I don't really like any of these spots, actually. How about this one right here? Get away, grass. Actually, here, let me, let me get rid of a couple of grasses, because they're... Problematic. I can't see where I'm targeting. I can't get the right spot. So if we put one... Maybe right... I want to make sure that it's easy to access the switch. That's the, the key here. But there does need to be some overlap. And if I put it... Right here, that's an awfully close touch to get to the switch. Uh, this, is, this is the thing. I wish there were remote switches somehow or that... That electricity flowed multiple directions. That's really what I would like to see. Because if I try to connect this guy over here now, we would lose this connection over here. Ah, oh, man. This is this is dumb. I'm overthinking this. I'm definitely overthinking this. Let's try this. So we're going to go from here. Come on. Connect up to here. And then here to here. So theoretically, I can reach the switch with relative ease and we're okay. So let's turn this generator on. Actually, I think I want to do something else with the generator too now that I say that. So generator's on. This guy is off. Now it's on. Green light on. And let's verify that everything works. We'll just do a quick uh, test. Um, no? No. No? I don't understand. Okay, what happened here? Everything is wired correctly. Oh, and here's a wandering horde. Did I not turn the generator on? Generator's on. Is it drawing too much power? Did it just need a moment to turn on? What the heck happened? I don't understand. What just happened there? Did it just take a while to power up the fence? Gentlemen! The five brothers over here. 
five twins. Okay, hold on. I, I don't understand what just happened. Can I get you folks to come over here and test the fence for me? Clearly, part of it is not wired up right. Oh, that one is. So which part did I miss? Because I assume all of this is good. Did I, did I break it over there? I bet I broke it over there somewhere. I'm sure that's what happened. Hey, don't break the fence post, jerks. That's, that's not okay. Hey, stop that. You stop that too. Welcome over here. You, you can stop it. Welcome to the show that's called Stopping It. Okay. Hey, stop it. So let's run around and make sure everything is wired. Because clearly I missed something. Oh, I know what I missed. This needs to connect to that. And now everything works. That's why, because we had that overlap there. And I had to break everything for the switch. So now if I walk right here, I should electrocute myself. Perfect. And just to verify, I should electrocute myself right here. Perfect. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. And now if I turn that off, we're good to go. And I can turn it back on. And we're good again. Look at that. So now we can switch this thing off and on, which means a little more work when we get home. And I think I need to do something else over here, too. Turn that on. We're good to go. Let's see what we're using on power, because I ended up putting up an extra, an extra fence marker or two. So that's going to give a little more power draw. It's drawing 104 watts and has a maximum output of 205. Oh, man. All right. Well, I know how to address that. We'll just take this auger here. We're going to assemble you and take that guy out. We're going to just take that engine out and we'll turn this off. And we're going to put this engine in here. Look at that. 303 watts. Boom. Just like that. Good to go. So we are no longer in danger of running out of power, which... Glad to see that. Not that I really thought we would, but, you know, just saying. Get rid of all these bodies just lying around. I mean, technically, I never really did fully clean up from the horde, I don't, I don't think. So, we'll just get rid of some of this stuff. All this stuff is looking pretty good. I think I do need to make some repairs to fence posts, probably, maybe... Maybe one or two of them over here. At the very least, I saw some spikes get messed up. That's a little... That's tiny, a tiny amount banged up. I can kind of sneak by over here to repair. Oh, uh, that one's actually really messed up. Let's, let's fix that. Yeah. Don't, don't have anything on me. That's what we need. I don't want to see those get messed up. I mean, that is... that. I will say that is the one thing about the fence posts... That kind of helps to balance them out. They're overpowered as all get out as far as I'm concerned. Well, maybe not overpowered. They're... Ah, uh, yeah, there's there's an element of being overpowered. But they are pretty darn easy to break, all things considered. So, you know, there is a balance point to it. It's just... Sometimes it feels a little off, that's all. Here, we can drop that guy off. And uh, I guess we don't need that relay anymore. So... Cool. Let's let's uh, run with that. Let's go fix the fence posts. Not to mention we'll fix doors here. So I went out the side door. That's not the door I was expecting. I wasn't paying attention. We still have to do something in here. I, I have my ideas, but we'll hold off on taking care of that probably until the next horde. That'll be the, the time we really look at that again. So I'm really literally just going to take a moment to kind of run around and make sure all these fence posts are good. I think they all are. Yeah, that's like the ground is is messed up there. Or, or the spikes or something. I'm not sure what I was targeting there. Okay, I'm going to say that's worth it. It's fine. We have we have so much metal. Um, Really? Okay, hold on. I... Uh, oof. I 
I didn't realize I was going to need electronic components. Electric? Electrical components as well to repair this stuff. I was thinking it was just going to be the metal, but nope, we need some electrical parts. Okay, no problem. We got this. We got this. Yeah. Ooh, that's a close one. I don't like running between those. What can I say? So it needs both. Uh, that was probably not worth it for two points. All right, I'm just going to say it's not worth it for eight points or whatever. I know. That that doesn't follow the logic of what what just happened. It's okay. Whatever. Like I said, we got we got enough stuff. It'll it'll all work out. This one guy over here that's pretty messed up though. That one really does need to be fixed. So this one right here, look at that. There we go. That one was worth it. Three points. Nah. Three health. I think that's Sounded like a horde or something. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's just my imagination. Just my imagination. Did I ever put a light up in the workshop? I feel like I didn't. I did. Why is it so dark in here then? I guess... I don't know. Okay, well... I guess if you have a light in here, then I don't need to put another one up. Whatever. Whatever. How are you doing on this stuff? You are getting close to the point that you're going to run out of fuel. So we'll just add a little more to that. Very slowly. And I guess on that note, I need to go grab some more stones so I can continue. What did I just do? Over there, buddy. Over there. So I can continue to make concrete so we can continue to work on the Tala. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and leave you until the next one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.